So hey everybody, happy holidays, it's Mickey here and I just have a fun video for you today. It's after Christmas at our house and I'm preparing to go to a holiday soup night and gift exchange with the family. So first I wanted to share with you my holiday outfit of the day. My cozy cowl neck sweater is from Maurice's. My pants are just black Levi skinny jeans and I'm also wearing my favorite Soul Society suede black boots. So in today's video, I have some big family news to share. There's a happy mail update. We'll be wrapping even more presents and of course I'm gonna share with you the recipes that I'm bringing to tonight's party. So if you are new here, I hope you'll take a minute to subscribe. I put out new videos every week about all things home. Our big news is that Rebecca graduated from Virginia Commonwealth University last week with two degrees, a Bachelor of Science in Anthropology and a Bachelor of Arts in English Linguistics. We are so excited for her. This has been such a challenge this last couple years dealing with the disruption that the pandemic has been, but she has pushed through and reached her goals and we are just so proud of her and cannot wait to see where life leads her next. So I wanted to give an update to our happy mail. As you guys know, I've been doing our annual Christmas card exchange. We have been trying to beat our record of 360 cards. We are not there yet, but I just went to the post office, um, I think the day before yesterday, and this is a stack that was waiting for me there. It is so awesome to hear from all of you. I just love seeing pictures of your family and you know, putting faces to names that I have been seeing for you know from really from the beginning now there is definitely still time for you to send in a card if you want to I am going to be writing back to everyone um, that sends me out a card a note a postcard whatever I'm actually just ordered some more of the cards that I'm sending out so I can get through this stack here you guys have been so wonderful and generous. I've gotten so many little Christmas ornaments and stickers, and I wanted to show you the bunch of things that came in with this group of cards. Now, you guys know that I just love Charlie Brown. He's been my BFF from way back in elementary school. So Diana sent me out this adorable little Charlie Brown. She says she found it at Home Goods and thought of me, which I thought was so very sweet. And then I got from Rochelle out in Minneapolis. She sent me this snow day Ray Dunn canister, which was so generous and sweet. You guys never have to send me anything. I just love knowing that you guys are out there and watching and being part of our community. Now, this is going to have a very special spot in my kitchen. Snow days are always my favorite days, you know, from when the kids were really young and we would get, you know, the call that there is a snow day. And then when I was teaching, nobody was happier about a snow day than me. So this is really, really sweet. And then I got the kindest gift that I just thought was so beautiful. Let me open this up for you. Now, I just thought this was just the sweetest thing. This is a little necklace that Donna in Illinois said that she had um, she had seen and it just made her think of me, which I think is just the sweetest thing. Um, it's a little pine cone. You guys know how much I love pine cones. It's this little tiny little gold pine, pine cone with a little leaf that has my um, my name initial on it, which I just loved it. I thought it was just so perfect. You know, this community is absolutely the best part of YouTube for me. I just think that, you know, if we had the opportunity, if we all lived in a little neighborhood somewhere, I just think we would all be the best of friends. So. So that is the update on our Christmas card exchange. I'm going to um, give it another couple weeks and then I will give you our grand total. So if you sent me a card, be on the lookout from one from me back. Just give me a little time because I do have to order some more cards and it'll take me a little while to get through this stack. Just like in The Sound of Music, 
truly one of my favorite things are brown paper packages tied up with string. I think it is probably the simplest, but such a beautiful way to wrap up your holiday gifts or really any gifts throughout the year. And it's also all recyclable, which is really important anymore too. So these are some packages that I have already for um, our family um, round robin that we do every year. We usually set the limit at $25, but you know, nobody ever sticks to it. So this is what I have done with the packages this year. I just cut out some really pretty um, pine branch with my Cricut and I added some little flower blossoms. I think it looks so pretty and it's just something simple. Um, it doesn't really scream Christmas, so you can really use it, something like this any time of year. I'm putting in a little clip here of how I did my Christmas packages for the immediate family this year. I used that same brown paper and string for all of them, and then for each person, I added something just a little bit different, whether it was like a little Christmas tree, snowflake, and um, for my brother this year who loves Bigfoot, I cut out a Bigfoot for the top of his packages. This really did not take much time at all, and it was a fun way to make them, you know, just a little bit different, even though everything was in that same brown wrapping paper. These packages are all ready to go. I just have a couple more to do and then I am done wrapping. For tonight, I'm gonna to be bringing my chicken soup. And for this recipe, I always like to use um, the packaged rotisserie chicken that you can find at Costco. It really adds so much flavor to the soup and it's really easy to use because you don't have to worry you know, about cooking it ahead of time. It just makes everything so much quicker. So I have everything else that I need um, gathered here. I have some celery, onions, some veggie stock, some chicken stock, I have carrots and I have some dill weed and I also have some parsley in the refrigerator. And to get started, I'm just gonna be chopping everything up and getting it in the pot. Having a soup night party is really a lot of fun. Everybody brings a soup or a stew. There's always a big salad and a bunch of different types of bread and it's perfect for a really cold night. So once my soup is done, I'm going to transfer it to a crock pot to take to the party and then just plug it in when I get there. I'm also going to be making some rolls. I'm gonna share that recipe with you in just a little while. This roll recipe is really good and I find that if you just under bake them just a little bit and take them with you, you can pop them in the oven and brown them up perfectly so they're nice and hot when everybody's ready to eat. I have shared this chicken soup recipe many times here on my channel and I will be sure to put the recipe and a video link down below for you. Now usually when I make a big pot of soup, I usually have like cheesy bread or I get some really good rolls from the bakery. But just recently I found this awesome recipe. It's for homemade one hour yeasty butter rolls. And I found it on a website called Give Me Some Oven. I have tried so many recipes from this website. I'm going to leave a link to it down below for all of you, but everything comes out just perfectly. And I love this recipe because you get homemade rolls in just about an hour and you can make a whole tray of them, which is really great to transport like we're going to do tonight. So I have some of the ingredients all set up here on my island. We're gonna start off with a little combo of milk, water, and honey. So I have about two tablespoons of melted butter here on the stove and I'm going to add in 
a cup of water. A half a cup of milk. And two tablespoons of honey. And then you're going to heat it very slowly on the top of your stove or in a microwave till it gets to be about 110 degrees. Once your liquids have reached about 110 degrees, transfer them to the base of your stand mixer with the dough hook attached. So once your liquid has reached the right temperature, you're going to add, just sprinkle in your yeast on top. Give it a little mix with a fork and just wait till it's nice and bubbly. I will be sure to leave the link to this recipe down in the description box down below for you. So at this point, I'm adding about three and a half to four cups of flour and letting my mixer run on medium until everything is well combined. Then I'm removing it to a grease bowl to let rise for about 15 minutes. And then I'm going to divide the dough into about 15 equal parts, rolling each of those parts into a small ball and placing it in a grease 9 by 13 pan, which you're going to cover with a cloth and let rise for about 20 minutes before baking in a 400 degree oven for about 15. While the rolls are still hot, I brush them with a little bit of melted butter. And since I'm taking them to the party tonight, I decided to underbake them just a little bit so that when I get there, I can just pop them in the oven and let them brown up so that they are nice and hot for dinner. So I'm going to be packing up the soup the rolls, the gifts, and head out the door. I hope this has been a wonderful holiday season for you, surrounded by your most favorite people of all. Now, I'm going to be taking the first week of January off, and then I will be back with a fun new video lineup every week, so I hope you will subscribe so you don't miss a thing. I'm wishing each and every one of you a safe and happy new year, and until I see you in the next video, I hope that you love the life that you have, be kind to each other, stay safe, and I will see you next year. Bye.